Well, let's get to it. Democratic Senator Michael Bennett declined an invitation to debate his Republican opponent, Daryl Glenn, in an October debate hosted by CBS4, Colorado Public Television, and KOA News Radio. Earlier in the month, Daryl Glenn declined an invite from the Denver Post. So the two U.S. Senate candidates in a statewide election will likely only debate twice this season, with only one of those debates being held in Denver. Uh, Patty, this is uh, obviously very close to home for me. It's our series. It's our partnership we have with CBS4 and, and uh, KOA. Um, and I'm a debate producer, so I'm really biased. What's your take? Well, I'm not a debate producer, and I've never said no to Channel 12, I don't think. So <laughs> I'm not biased in this at all. I think it's a shame that Bennett isn't doing it. And I'm, I think it's a shame also that Glenn is not going to do the Denver Post one. We don't get that much chance to hear politicians speak, even though Bennett has been... The sent the, is the incumbent. We don't get to hear him speak at length about different issues. So even if he doesn't want to debate, Daryl Glenn, if you've got a good debate moderator, you're going to hear questions that he would be able to answer and he would be able to tell people in Colorado where he sees the state going, what he, he's done over the past years. You know, we did an interview with Daryl Glenn this week, which was really interesting, and he was saying, among other things, one of the reasons he doesn't want to debate is because everyone's always asking about Trump. And he said, you know, he supports Trump because Trump is the head of the ticket, but he doesn't want to talk anymore about Trump in the debate. Well, let's face it, who doesn't want to talk about Trump? We certainly do at this table. And I cannot wait for that debate Monday night, which should be a very telling event. And we'll be talking about it here next Friday. Yes, we will. Uh, Amy, when I look at this, I understand the strategy from the Bennett campaign. I disagree with it. I hate it, but I understand it. However, when it comes down to it for me, if the Republicans had a more competitive nominee, one that, say, was, I don't know, running ads, um, I think there would be a debate. Do you think I'm wrong? No, I don't. And it's likely that um, there probably would be a debate. But, you know, it, and to play devil's advocate on that just a little bit, um, no, that's not a plug for, I was gonna say, for a Caldera plug. show. Um, <laughs> you know what? It, it's funny. It's a little bit Trump-esque. Because remember Donald Trump saying the media is biased. I mean, that was part of what Daryl Glenn said as he cited that the Denver Post was, was, ran a series of articles against him. And he was, you know, he thought they were, they were um, unflattering or, or biased. And so it's a little bit Trump-like because Donald Trump with the whole theme of the media is biased against me. So therefore, I'm not going to give you anything. I think it's wrong. But you know what? Uh, as we have discussed, democracy in action, action again, you can decide not to speak if you want as well. Uh, Eric, uh, you and I are both biased in this. We moderate debates together at Caller Decide series every Friday at 9 o'clock. Um, this seems like to be a disturbing trend. Mark Udall decided not to debate. Now, I'm not going to say that's the reason he lost two years ago, but that was also a decision he made. What do you think is behind this kind of a trend? I have to plead not guilty. I have no bias whatsoever, as my friend Penfield can attest from the debate we just moderated with him. Um, uh, Michael Bennett is not debating because he doesn't have to debate. I mean, it's, it's a point that Patty and, and you, Dominic, and Amy already discussed. When there is no Senate race, and you know, I proposed a few weeks ago we retire this issue because there just isn't a race here. Bennett has the luxury of doing what he wants. Yes, I wish he would debate. I think the risk factor for him debating is very negligible. But I understand the calculation. I can, for the life of me, do not understand the calculation uh, on the part of Daryl Glenn vis-a-vis -vis the Denver Post. I mean, if I'm Daryl Glenn, I have no money for television. I have no money for much of anything. I would want to debate 24-7. Every day I'd be following Michael Bennett around to every little rural town hall saying, let's have a debate here. Mm -hmm. um, I, I would be grasping at anything I could grasp at to get an encounter with Michael Bennett and to, and to get some press and some airtime. So I know Daryl Glenn is in a spat with the Denver Post. I think the spat is not serving him well. But again, this is not a competitive race from where the Republican Party was a few years ago or a year ago, targeting this as one of two pickup opportunities around the country to where they are now vis-a-vis -vis the Senate race is a pretty precipitous fall. And, you know, obviously, as Patty said, we're not really thinking, most viewers out there tonight are not thinking about the Bennett-Glenn debate or non-debates. They're thinking about what is coming up Monday night, which will be fascinating. As I said before we aired, it's like a train wreck. You can't turn away. <laughs> You certainly can't. Uh, Penn, at the end of the day, if voters want to see candidates debate, do voters need to hold candidates' feet to the fire? 
Absolutely, and I say shame on both of them. Um, Daryl Glenn, uh, I'm going to put the blame on you. This is your fault. If you have a beef with the Denver Post, show up for their debate and participate and tell people on camera, I have a beef with the Denver Post. You're the challenger. Frankly, no one knows that you're in a race. You need all the exposure you can get. And I don't know why you would give Michael Bennett an excuse to opt out of the Channel 4 debate now. But now you've lost two opportunities to be on TV. It's free media to state your case and articulate for people why you want to be the next U.S. Senator for Colorado. And Michael, you ought to be participating in the debate and, and looking forward to the opportunity to speak to your constituents as frequently as possible. Voters deserve to hear from people who want to represent them. And Daryl, you can't lead if if you get mad with the press and decide you're not going to show up. You can't serve in the U.S. Senate and not show up because you're mad at somebody.